Okie dokie. It's about time we get started on a little project. Okie dokie. Let's get started. Let's say you have a ton of plastic bags and you want to know how to recycle them. Or you're one of those people like me who you get to the supermarket and you need to be all earthy, but you're not all that earthy. And you forget those like cloth bags that you're supposed to bring so that you recycle and everything else. But then if you're a mom, you kind of need some extra plastic bags around the house or you know, who knows what needs to go in a plastic bag. Or even if you're just one of those people who has it all, then you gotta clean up after it. Yeah, you know who you are. And so, I have a solution. I got this little thing I started creating quite some time ago, actually. It's for the kitchen. And you just take your plastic bags, crumple them up, put them in the top. Got a drawstring at the top. You pull it, you put a little bead on it so it pulls tight. And then at the bottom, it's got this elastic band so you can just pull them out when you feel like it. Woo! To use them for like whatever you need. But instead, I'm going to make a little short one. So it's good for recycling your plastic bags. And it's cute because it's polka dot and it matches my dress. How much luckier could I get? So this is about 27 inches long. And it's OK if you make it sh a little shorter or a little longer. And it is about uh, 11 and a half inches high, I guess you could say. This one is about 18 inches long or high. So let's get started on that and I'll show you how to do it. Remember, whenever you're cutting, whatever size uh, piece you want, you're going to add about it least a quarter inch on every side, like all four sides if this is a square or a triangle. Most people would pin, but I am one of those people who likes to do it nice and quick. So I'm going to measure out that I'm going to want the drawstring up here to be about an inch, you know, make it easy to go through. And then down here, it can be whatever it is. Ah! Okay. Got a bit of allergies there. Now, I'm just going to fold it over, wrong way first. And you're going to see I have blue thread going on so you can see it. And I'm just going to go up. Up, 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 to the side. Ooh. I need a pedal. Yeah. Okay. And reverse, but not too much. Just to uh, hold that stitch in place. Now with a thin cotton like this, I don't have to worry too much about the finishing product, the, the edges. There are other fabrics that are a lot harder and they fray a lot more. Then I'll go ahead and sew this down so it's nice and finished. Separating the seam is done quite often, but more often in making clothes. You just press the seams down. And a lot of times I can just do it with my finger. I don't need to iron because I'm lazy. So, 
I got that nice little end for my drawstring. And now I'm going to throw in my elastic. I might want to just tie this off and cut it. What we're going to do here is you press off that seam and you sort of fold it over like that. Okay, so you got that going on. Now, what I want to do is I want to secure one half of this elastic. So in folding it, I'm going to put a little over the edge and then I'm going to pin it so it holds in place while I'm sewing around it. If I can get it. Beautiful. Now I'm not going through the elastic with this kind of draw this kind of elastic casing. I'm pulling the elastic down here. So it'll stretch, and, we'll, and I'm keeping the fabric nice and normal by doing that. pulling it and it's bunching up back there but that's okay because it's already sewn through so it's not going to ruin the stitch or anything I just have to make sure it lasts the entire way I'm going to take that off you got to be careful that you're sewing just on this side here where the elastic isn't that way it stretches. Okay, I've just about gone as far as I can go. A little stitch back to hold it in place. Pull up your your foot. Pull out your thread. Cut it. Ah. Oh, thank goodness it's still there. And um, because there's just there's just so little it can go. I'm going to go ahead and get that other part of my elastic out of there. Ah, got it. It's pinned in place. Pull it out. Pulling, pulling, pulling. And then I want to make a nice flat seam. So, I mean, there's lots of different ways you can do anything in sewing. I'm going to put them both together just flat. Make sure it's flat all the way around and it doesn't twist. And then I'm going to sew through the elastic. And back. And you can throw a zigzag in there. So now we've got what looks like almost a nice clean... Uh, elastic band. So I'm going to have to sew that in. If you want a really clean look, you can do it by hand, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it by machine. Now look at that. I sewed it up to the very beginning and it looks like a little doll skirt, doesn't it? But I gotta finish off this top edge, so I'm just gonna go around the top. Now I didn't make those match up just perfectly, but it's perfect at the top. I'm making up for my cutting mistakes by evening it out when sewing it. <laughs> 